From the Visa Spotlight Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival, it's Red Carpet Diary. In Tai Chi Zero, the new kung fu action film, the villagers of Chen Village are forbidden to teach Tai Chi to outsiders. When a railroad plans to steam right through them, though, they turn to a mysterious man from the village's past to help them. I recently spoke with director Stephen Fung. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. What you've done here is really interesting, mixing in elements of steampunk mm -hmm. and, and things to, to update and put a twist on it. So tell me a little bit about um, your relationship to the material. First of all, I have to, I have to like it. Like mm -hmm. These are all different genres that I particularly like myself, right. like the steampunk, and then there's the comic book, there's video games, and there's the heavy metal and there is the uh, classical music. Yeah. These are all the stuff that I really like. And uh, we want to uh, just pretty much do something different. And when people hear about Tai Chi, oh, you're gonna think about old people in the, in the garden. Old doing, people in the yeah, park, yeah. In the park doing these <laughs> slow moves, okay? And that's not, that, that's, that, yeah, that's one part of Tai Chi, right. but that's not all the different angles you could look at it from. So just want to do something different, I guess. What did, what did you, what were you thinking about as you were composing the, the look of the film? I had a lot of influences like, yeah. in terms of like putting, because I'm a, uh, I studied graphic design in mm -hmm. Michigan and so in terms of like putting graphics on, uh, on screen, I'm very, uh, um, very uh, careful. And then there, there, there's a lot of times where, you know, like the battle scenes where you get the VS or the KO, and yeah, yeah. Those, those are very, uh, very uh, video game. Mm -hmm. It's very, you know, Street Fighter. Or yeah. kind of. Now it's playing at the Toronto International Film Festival. Have international audiences seen it yet? Yes, we were in uh, the Venice Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, that's where we did our world premiere, and right. now we're having our uh, North American premiere here in Toronto. And, and mm -hmm. what was the response to the audience in, from the audience in Venice? It was pretty good. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. They, they, one of the things about this film is that we didn't want like a Tai Chi movie to have a lot of burden, like like because f to a Chinese person, Tai Chi is not about. It's not just about the martial arts. It's also about the, the whole philosophy behind the Tai Chi, yin right. and yang, and balance, right? So I just want to make a movie that, that's, like, very young, very energetic, and not to, you know, you know, it's not, don't take it too seriously. Right. Do you have uh, ideas for other films that we'll see next year at the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, I, I started a uh, production company uh, last year. So uh, besides me directing, I also produce other movies. So right. we have another movie coming up uh, probably next year. We've been speaking with Stephen Fung, director of Tai Chi Zero.